around the corner too. So let's check in with meteorologist Mary Yoon for your next forecast. Hi Mary. Hey, good morning. Happy Sunday fun day. Uh, a day if you're going to be heading out at this hour, a jacket would be a good idea because we are talking about some cool conditions and even uh, maybe an umbrella because we are going to be seeing some passing showers throughout the afternoon. Uh, for this Sunday though, you can still see winter is going strong right now with this Arctic air in infecting or impacting much of the nation's midsection. We're seeing some mild conditions over towards our southeast and towards the Golden State 50s in San Francisco 60s expected for Los Angeles, which is still cool for us, especially for this time frame. In our hour by hour forecast, we're expecting light rain to continue earlier this morning. We're just seeing some passing showers reported in Burbank and even towards Ontario and Riverside at this hour. Mainly cloudy skies right around 11 o'clock and we could still see a few showers, just some lingering moisture later on this afternoon. You can see it looks very active across much of Northern California, Central California. The center of the low is actually offshore. There's a circulation right there. So this is going to be its associated cold front. The tail end of it is really what's starting to be the weak system, starting to bring up some of these showers. And we're starting to see it right now on our radar. You can see it's very, very light in activity, and it's actually moving very quickly as well. As we track this, you can see in the next seven minutes or so, Southgate will start to see some wet weather. Downey, El Monte, and even La Puente. Get ready for some wet weather on your windshield. Uh, Future Tracker, though, will continue to see the organized storm system really push in. And I pause this right around Tuesday morning. That's when we expect to see some very heavy precipitation. We're expecting rain from downtown Los Angeles in towards the South Bay, and even some snow starting to develop towards Wrightwood, Big Bear, Big Bear Lake. and. Uh, uh, our passes will certainly be impacted as well as we get some cold air. The snow levels will start to lower early Wednesday morning as well. So that could create some travel troubles even as you're heading up through the five through the grapevine. That's also going to be an area of impact as well. Lingering showers though continuing through early Wednesday morning and then the system exits and by Thursday expecting sunshine to return to Southern California. Here's what it looks like in our estimated rainfall totals. It is very impressive. Two inches in San Bernardino uh, near that as you head towards Riverside, Temecula, two inches of rain projected over an inch in downtown Los Angeles and close to an inch and a half in Burbank. So let's break it down for you in the extended forecast. You'll notice so it is going to remain cooler than average through at least Wednesday and that's what you're going to notice. Those temperatures will continue to tumble. So expecting 60s today upper 50s by Wednesday. Sunshine in the forecast Thursday, Friday, and even for next weekend. But this rainfall is going to renew any flooding concerns. Unfortunately, there could definitely be some uprooted trees. Winds will start to pick up on Tuesday as well, so there could be even some isolated areas where some power outages are likely as well. So there's a lot of things that you're going to have to watch out for with this storm system. For the valleys, showers today, 63 for your high, 60s continuing Monday, and it's going to be a cold, damp, windy day on Tuesday and even to Wednesday. So that's going to be the day you just want to bundle up. If you could stay inside, that would be my recommendation. Unfortunately, for those of you starting spring break, it's going to be a wet start, especially for the IE Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. That also goes for the beaches and it's going to be cold. So definitely not the week to head to the beaches. The high desert will be seeing wet weather through Tuesday and Wednesday. Winds also associated with it. And for the mountains, well, we'll see some snow showers and lowering snow levels with cold air on Wednesday. That is your weather forecast. Back to you. All right, Mary, thank you.